Okay, so now let's talk about a little more advanced layer system that we can do so here inside of PD Player. And what I'm going to be showing you is uh, sort of putting things together. You show, you've seen A over B, but you actually have some, some interesting compositing techniques that can actually be done as well. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and show that. Um, what you can do is, for example, you can load up these clips and I'm going to load up my all of my clips here uh, and uh, these are a bunch of layers that were saved out of uh, out of uh, V-Ray um, so I'm just going to go ahead and drop them all in. I got a bunch of uh, directories and I'm going to save all those directories and you'll notice it basically just drops them all in as single directories and overlays them just the way it should be uh, so it did only loaded the first clip and the other ones are, are, are paused right now so I'm just going to go ahead and pause this and just load them up um, uh, for our presentation here. So what I want to show is basically a sort of assembling a, a basic comp here and what I'm going to do is uh, something I like to do is just to, to split out all of my lighting passes out of uh, uh, V-Ray for example into different passes uh, and I'm going to go ahead and start with uh, putting these in order. I'm going to put my lighting, my global illumination, my uh, actually my specular uh, my specular, then my reflection, and, and I'm going to have this AO pass, this uh, ambient occlusion pass on top. So I'm going to go ahead and turn them all off, and uh, you'll see basically just your uh, the lighting pass. And if I go ahead and load this um, dialog here, uh, I'm going to load up the uh, global illumination pass, and I know that that's an added light source, so I'm going to go ahead and add that. So you can see what happens when you add your GI. Uh, global illumination, of course, adds light to scenes. Uh, which is the light bouncing around. So that's what your global illumination does. It just kind of adds the bouncing light of areas coming around here. Uh, then I'm going to add, going to go ahead and add this uh, specular light. So I'm going to go here and do an add. And that shows the specular light being added to the scene. And I'm going to go ahead and add the reflection. So that's added on top of here as well. Uh, then finally, ambient occlusion is something that people like to do sometimes to uh, fake uh, uh, dark shadowing of areas but uh, since this is true lighting you wouldn't necessarily need it but some people like to fake it so what you need to do usually on an ambient occlusion pass you need to multiply it on so that looks like the multiplied ambient occlusion pass which is uh, not correct lighting but it's the lighting that people like to look at so um, going to go ahead and play this and you'll see that it basically has composited all of this and is now being able to play it in real time for me which is kind of a really cool thing for something just sort of out of the box um, another good thing that you can do with this now you've actually let's say you've done some complex uh, compositing here you actually have the ability to save this out so I'm going to go ahead and do a, a save of this item so I'm going to go ahead and do save composite as I'm going to say V-Ray layers and just go ahead and save that. Uh, oops, actually, say, let's just call that VO1 there. And now what that does is, uh, once I've saved that, I can just go ahead and um, open that composite. And then now I basically have that whole composite uh, saved, and I can just reopen that at any point in time. So now that just allows me to save my, my, my PD player comp work here, which is kind of a nice thing to do. But even better than that, what I can do is I can do export comp as and I can go ahead and export this as a uh, different types of uh, composite in different types of compositing programs so for example I can do an After Effects script or a nuke script as well so I'm going to go ahead and save that as a nuke script and see what that does for those of you who have used nuke you know that you may be able to open this file so what I can do is basically uh, go in here and just do open the script and I'm just going to go ahead and open that nuke script and you'll see that basically what it's done is actually done a full composite of the image. Um, it actually wrote it out correctly. Uh, it basically did a the the lighting plus the illumination plus the specular plus etc. and multiply that. And you can do that. And let's say I, I I've gone in here. Let's do a few tweaks, and I've done a few things that are additional to like lighting, etc. It would all self save all that data. So it's really nice to be able to just basically create your basic comp and PD player, and then you can still export it out in case you wanted to. So that's a really kind of a good way to work with. Um, and you'll basically see your full comp is, is, is loaded here in Nuke. Uh, again, a really kind of good way to work and the ability to export your data in and out and not only be able to save it out as a QuickTime but also be able to save it out as different compositing programs so very very useful in general